Okay, so I want you to take your Marvel Cinematic Universe, <laughs> pick it up, pick the whole thing up, all of it, pick it up, and put it in the trash. Because <laughs> um, this is the only universe I want to spend time in. Oh my god. Uh, uh, <laughs> Hi, hello everyone. We just got back from Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse, and holy shit. Oh, I love it. It's all gone. So, uh, I'm Sean. And I'm Tennille. Uh, we watch all the movies and, um... All the animated ones. The ones that matter. I watch... We watch all the movies. <laughs> oh, my Holy goodness. Holy cow. Non-spoilers. Don't worry. We're going to do non-spoilers here at the beginning. Uh -huh. And then we'll go into spoilers. For those of you who have seen it. Because... You naughty spoiler gremlins. Because, seriously, go see this movie. 100%. Yeah. Like... This is a visual, storytelling, character, spectacular-a-thon. Yeah. And really great music as well. Yeah. I mean, it's still a superhero movie, so, you know, if you're someone who's just sick to death of superhero movies... We'll only watch this one and then stop watching all others and you'll be good. <laughs> this was really good. Like, holy crap. My expectations were high and this shattered them. Yeah. Like, I thought this movie was probably going to be pretty good, maybe as good as, like, Wreck-It Ralph 2, and it's like, I don't even want to watch that movie again. No, I I already expected this to be my favorite film of the year, mm -hmm. and this might be my favorite film of the past several years. It's better than anything that came out last year, that's for freaking sure. Yeah. The best movie that came out last year was what, Coco? Coco. And that's Red a... Runner. Okay, okay, Bread Renner was pretty good, but this is like a completely different genre. Yeah, you can't even compare the two. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Like, obviously we're not going to get into the plot or anything, but the basic plot that you should know is... Oh, look, Sp Spider-Man, but this time starring Miles Moranis. Morales. Morales. Miles. I'm just going to call him Miles, make sure I don't mess it up. Miles Morales. Morales, okay. Uh... And, uh... That, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. And then, I mean, the trailers have shown that, oh, no, the Spider-Verse is crossing, and yeah. other Spider-Mans are coming into his universe, like Peter Parker and Gwen Stacy and others. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the plot. Yeah. I mean, they gotta get home and stop the bad guys and There's stuff. There's a lot more that goes on, but, but that's all you need to know going in. And go watch this movie, holy cow. Please go watch, please, please, of all the crappy movies people throw their money at year after year, and we just have to sit there and go, oh look, people throwing their money at another stupid movie, mm -hmm. and it makes buttloads of money. <coughs> the emoji movie, <coughs> boss baby. <coughs> Illumination as a whole. <laughs> <laughs> Please, if you're gonna spend your hard-earned cash going to see something, at least see something good like this. This is worth your money. It's worth your time. I want a sequel. I want a sequel, and I think we're gonna go see it again this weekend. Uh, yeah, we are. We're gonna go see it again on Sunday. Yeah. We saw it on Thursday, by yeah, the way. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're probably getting this review tonight. Yeah, probably. Or tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. It was just like, wah! This is good. This is so good. I want more movies like this. This is the kind of 3D film that I want to engorge my eyes on. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't just take 3D and use basic-ass 3D models. It looks like a 2D comic book the whole time and they and use the 3d so well this is something only 3d could accomplish mm -hmm. i mean you could do this in traditional animation really but it hard. would it would be super expensive and really hard mm -hmm. and everyone would want to kill themselves by the end of mm -hmm. it it's like this is what you use 3d for mm -hmm. use it in new ways yeah please i want more artistically interesting films like this yeah Please and thank you. Yeah. Like this. Like 3D, 3D has potential has been so wasted over this last 
We must go hyper-realistic and use it in our live-action movies. Mm -hmm. Why? Why do that when you can do this? Exactly. Like, like seriously. Sure, also do realistic stuff, but, but we also can, we, but can can, we can do both. We can do both. We can do both. We can do even more. We can do anything we want with 3D. Uh -huh. Let's do more of this. Please. And other experimental ideas. And okay, and like like I could go on f about the art direction. We both could mm -hmm. for forever. But let's be real here. A lot of people don't care about art direction. They're here for the story and characters. Okay. And you will get that in spades in this movie. I love Miles. Yeah. I love Miles. He is amazing. Peter Parker is an engaging and like a really good foil to Miles and his issues. This is one of the first times I've seen the Spider-Man talking to himself while he's mm -hmm. fighting people work in a non-comic book format. Yeah. Because I, I think I've seen several videos on this topic too on why they've cut that part out of like live action movies because characters because quipping just, to themselves is weird yeah but this felt so natural mm -hmm. it was amazing and like and all the other spider people mm -hmm. were great i really enjoyed gwen mm -hmm. she's super cute yeah um i wouldn't mind seeing a movie of her yeah, just her. Because I know when she got introduced in the comics, everyone was like, yes. Yes. This is awesome. Uh-huh. More. And I agree. More, please. This is really cool. Yeah, I've been down for Spider-Gwen. Um, I've got a friend who's super into comics, and she showed me, like, the cover of the first time she showed up, and I was just like, mm, yes. Mm, nom, 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 nom. Have you seen like any of the art from the Spider Gwen comic books? No, I've just seen a million pieces of fan art. Oh, it's gorgeous. I might have to look at some comic books for once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, I guess I we should read... establish that we don't really read comic books. Yeah, no, we're not we're not comic book people. But like I was gonna say, I haven't read any of the Spider Gwen, but I considered buying a copy of like the first Spider Gwen just because the art was so gorgeous, mm -hmm. and it's like, well. I guess I'm going to read comics now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I haven't yet. It's so good. Um, the villains are <gasps> so cool. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of the villains that you've seen before in every single Spider-Man thing, but because it's technically a different universe than like what we're used to, yeah. they're different. And it's such a cool change well, for everyone. And because... It's this a comic. Is a comic, and, and it's, it's styled to look like a comic. It can actually have fun with it and make huge, exaggerated character designs that fit the universe and the storytelling. And it doesn't look like an awkward gray blob where they don't have to like tone down a villain's wacky, hammy side mm -hmm. to like try and force it into a realistic New York City. I don't think this is a spoiler. He shows up mm -hmm. in the trailers, uh, but Kingpin is in this, and he is just a slab of meat, and he looks so good because of <laughs> it. Like, I love this guy's design in this movie. Mm -hmm. uh, all the character designs. I won't like go into like who all the other villains are because I know they don't all show up in the trailers. Okay. And it's just like, oh, all of them look so cool. Mm -hmm. And I like minor changes they make to certain things. It's like, mmm, mmm, mm, 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 mm. tasty. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh. Yeah. I, I just, I'm still reveling in this movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see it again on Sunday because mm -hmm. there's, there's so much I want to keep an eye out for mm -hmm. the second time around. Yeah. And um, like, I, I just, the story was so engaging. Mm -hmm. I for like. Like, there's, there's few times where I go to a movie. And forget that you're watching a movie. And, yeah, and I forget I'm watching a movie. And this was one of those times. I, I agree. think the last time this happened um, was with Zootopia. And then I don't really remember a film before that. Mm hmm But, like, know. something that sucks you in so much mm -hmm. that you... Forget that you're experiencing just s simple, like, a flat image 
move it in your face with yeah. sound. It's like, no, this is reality now. Yeah. Like, th- on Sunday, I think I just want to, like, take in the animation. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, this first pass, all I can really take in is, you know, like, my base visuals, the stories, the characters. This next time, I just want to, like, like, soak in every detail of the art. You I'm know. so excited. Sorry, Tennille's computer is loud. <laughs> so I'm making it go to sleep. Good luck. It's probably still going to sit like that for a little while. <laughs> okay, yeah, but at least the high-pitched whining that you're probably hearing will go away in just a little bit. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so happy with this movie. Uh-huh. Oh, by the way, this is like the best film of the year. <laughs> I mean, our next video that's going to come out on, like, that's of these current movie reviews is going to be, like, our best and worst re- award yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll have a bit of time to, like, process sit and it reflect. Then? And, like, I don't even remember everything that came out this year. Did you remember that an Aardman movie came out this year? Oh, yeah. That was, like, the first thing we saw, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's like that, Sherlock Gnomes we saw earlier. <sighs> Yeah. Uh, then it was Isle of Dogs, which was pretty good. Yeah. I might have skipped something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Yeah. It doesn't matter. There's a bunch of movies in there that, like, surprised us with how enjoyable they were, but, like, that's about as far as I get with them. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, Academy. (laughs) I mean, I don't have any faith in you anyway. I know you just want to hand this to Incredibles 2 or Wreck-It Ralph 2, but this is the best movie of the year, you cowards. Oh and... yeah, Incredibles 2 came out this year. Uh-huh. Woo. Yeah. Fine. Uh-huh. All right. This isn't going to win, and it's going to make me so sad. I, like, I don't even know if I have tears to shed anymore over... <laughs> The Academy being garbage. Yeah, especially towards animation. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, they just don't care. No. But hey, you know what this will probably win a crap ton of awards for? Annie's. Annie Awards and, like, other animation-based awards. Yeah. Across the board for everything. Uh Uh-huh. Like, art direction, if nothing else. Plus, the plot is amazing, and the characters are awesome. Oh, by the way, this movie is still, like, a origin story movie. Yeah. It's not just a crossover with a bunch of Spider-Mans. This is the origin story of Miles, and his backstory is great. Yeah. It's amazing. And I want you, more. <laughs> you feel for him. Oh, oh I love it. Okay. Can, can we talk spoilers? Yeah, we can talk spoilers, but first... I don't, I don't. We're talking trailers real briefly, okay? <laughs> there was a fucking dog movie. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was one of the trailers. Some live-action dog movie based on the best-selling book of I don't care. The twenty-six thousandth book of a dog that gets lost from home and has to journey back. Again. Again, and. But in this one, there's a CGI cougar that makes friends with the dog. <laughs> it nestles against the dog like they're best friends. And I'm like, what the heck is this horrible we CG mess? I started laughing in the theater. <laughs> and I think a few other people did too. I don't know. I don't think they were, but they're just like, yeah, that's pretty stupid. Yeah, that's dumb. Like, oh, uh, by the way, I, we should mention that in our theater, it was us two who are big nerds. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten other, like, t- I would say there twenty or older, no, older. Yeah, it's like there was no one in that room who was eighteen or younger. Oh yeah, and, like the two guys sitting right in front of us were very obviously com- comic book nerds, and mm-hmm. I'm fairly certain the guys sitting at the back were comic book nerds, and I'm sure pretty much everybody else in there, except for like maybe two people, yeah. were nerds. Yeah. Everyone there knew exactly what they were getting into, and oh, yeah. uh, I, oh. we all enjoyed it. Uh huh. Like I could tell that the other like audience members really were great. There, Love there them. was a there was one point where I remember hearing like a, and I don't know if that came from you or someone right behind us. 
at one of the plot points, but we'll get to that. Uh, is there anything else we want to talk about with the trailers? The stupid dog movie was the highlight of it. Okay, yeah. But, I mean, we got uh, uh, How to Train Your Dragon 2, which might be three. the... F- three. Which might be the first movie we actually see next year, because it comes out in February. Yeah, February. We haven't actually looked up what the list of next year's movies are. Yeah. So, we'll probably be talking about that one next or second, or like two Whatever. movies from now. Who cares? Uh, um, but we also finally saw... <sighs> The Secret Life of Pets 2 trailer number three. We didn't even talk about trailers last week, but we saw another one. And I just don't want to see this movie. There is no plot. Mm. There was barely a plot in the first one, and it doesn't look like there's going to be one this time around either. Mm. There. We talked about the movie. Let's go back to Miles. Yes! Okay, we're getting into spoilers, so if you don't want spoilers or you haven't seen this movie, get out right now. Go. See the movie. Come back. Yeah. Because... Holy crap, I love this movie. Mm hmm. This is. A, give Sony money. Show them that they liked this. Yeah. Like, show them that the audience wants more of this specifically. More of this, less of the emoji movie. Yeah. Same company. Ah, uh, yeah. Sony, what? They're always a mixed bag. Why? Why is it so mixed? What is it's going always hit and miss. They obviously have a bunch of different, like, teams that are working on all these different movies. Whichever team did this movie is growing, doing great. I wonder if they're the team behind a lot of the other great movies, or maybe they worked on the Emoji movie. And I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh. But how, like, how can a corporation do things like the Emoji movie, which is so soulless? Just out for a cash grab. And then also do something financially risky like this. Mm -hmm. A interestingly styled, big budget Spider-Man movie. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, in concept, it's not that risky. And you got to remember that this is but, not Marvel Studios making this. This no, is Sony. No, it's Sony. This is Sony making it because technically... They still own Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, or uh, the Paramount. Films. Paramount, isn't it? Sony. So, whatever. whatever. I don't know. Sony Sony's parent company rights. owns the films, right? Yeah. Yeah. To Spider-Man. They only lend him to the Avengers. Yeah. Quote unquote for yeah. the movies, so that's why they made the, the uh, Venom movie, which is technically in the Spider Verse as well. Yeah. So technically, that's in the same universe as that, or same movie universe as this. Right. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Spoilers time. The plot. I love everything to do with Miles' origin story. Oh, yeah? And I love that Kingpin is, like, the bad guy for this. Yeah, it's Kingpin. Not like the Green Goblin or Scorpion or Doc Ock who are all in this movie. No, Kingpin the basic ass guy that just got really strong because he wanted to beat people up and get his way. Kingpin is the main villain of this movie. But I love how much of a, like, like there isn't a whole lot of animosity between, like they don't set up animosity between them, Mm -hmm. but there are huge parallels in their story arcs. And it's so clever. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, and the fact that it turns out Miles's uncle, who he adores, is actually a villain that works for Kingpin. Kingpin, which ends up getting him killed. Mhm. It's like, oh. That that was that was the point where uh I heard a like a gasp. I think it was me. Yeah. I mean, it was the kind of thing where he, uh, when they got back, Miles to- is hiding out in his uncle's house, and then uh, we see the villain, like on an opposing 
building and I'm just like, oh no, his uncle's the bad guy. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh no, I don't want this. <laughs> no, not Miles. Please, please just actually be following Miles. Nope, he was just going home. Uh-huh. Oh. And then, I, yeah, God, it's like that whole sequence. I'm just like, oh no. And they set it up perfectly where he's like, he's got to leave for the weekend. Mm -hmm. and he's gone. And, and he's he showed him the cool place down by the reactor because he had a contracting and, job. Oh my gosh. He doesn't have a contracting job. He's working as like, I guess, a henchman. a henchman, which is, I guess, technically contracting. Yeah. Down there. Yeah. Oh my God. It's so good. And the bond between... Like those two? Uh-huh. It's like, it's very believable that they really enjoy hanging out together. Yeah. It's like, yeah, Miles is like a really smart kid, but he just kind of wants to stay in like the middle class school and like stay with all of his friends instead of getting sent to the elitist snob school, which... Well, oh, oh that, 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 that whole was, subject. Mm. <sighs> I love it! So... For those of you unaware, there are like, quote unquote, elite schools that get charter schools, charter schools in New York and many other uh, cities. cities that they essentially have a raffle system that you get into the school if you score high enough and then your number is picked, mm -hmm. essentially. So they only take the best kids. And for mo a lot of kids, that's their only way to get out of poverty and stuff like that. So it's. It's like a real thing, and it's super serious, and it sucks that this is a system that has to be in place because mm -hmm. normal schools are just bad. Yeah. So the fact that Miles is, like, in one of these schools... He's in one, and he's resentful that he's in one because he he, wants... he'd rather just go back to his old school with his friends. Mm -hmm. But, like, for his family, especially, like, this whole story pro uh, story arc he has with his father... Like, his father's trying to set up a better life for Miles. Mm -hmm. And, oh, man. The connection between them oh, is also it's so, so good. good. I love his dad. I love uh -huh. their, like, their falling out and, like, sort of comeback at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And his dad is a police officer, and he talks about how he hates Spider-Man. And, and then Miles becomes Spider-Man. Uh, Oh, man, and there's another big spoiler we haven't talked about. That oh, happens yeah. in, like, the first, like... So this universe already minutes. has its own Peter Parker, and then that Peter Parker dies at the hands of Kingpin. Yeah! And the Peter Parker that's the lazy hobo man is from a different universe where Peter Parker made horrible choices and his life fell apart. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. Wasn't seeing that. I didn't expect to see that, no. No. I didn't think we'd see the literal golden boy Peter Parker. Yeah. Because he has gold hair in this universe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love his Aunt May. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love how Aunt May is essentially his, like... Tech... Techie? His techie in this yeah. universe. Yeah. She's the guy at the computer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I love it. I mean, they don't go that extreme with it, but but she definitely has that that vibe. Mm -hmm. I mean, she runs his uh, his, his hideout, secret lab his secret thing. lab, which is in her backyard. Yeah. Oh. And everything in this film just like ties back together so nicely. Mm -hmm. You've got Miles' Miles's uh, uh, love and passion for for like street art and graffiti mm -hmm. and all that, and that's and, how he makes his suit. Then, yeah, it's like it it establishes his connection with his uncle mm -hmm. and with his father. His uncle, his father, and his connection to the Spider Man lineage, I guess, yeah. as a whole, because he's like using the old Peter Parker suit. Mm -hmm. It's like See, oh. and I, I I wasn't expecting that. When he went back down there, I'm like, he's gonna find a suit that's 
like, mm-hmm. you know, Miles' suit. But no. But no, he, no, he, just he takes, actually takes Peter's suit. He takes Peter's suit and, and then just sprays it. And oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. And I love the, the logo design. Mm-hmm. I love how the, the paint drip of the spray paint makes, makes the like, fangs, fangs on, on the spider. spider. Oh, it's, it's so, so beautiful. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Uh, they're minor characters, I know, but I really love noir Spider-Man. I, I really enjoy Porky Pig Spider-Man. Porky Pig! I mean... Peter Porker. Peter Porker. Right. Peter Porker. <laughs> um, uh, what was her name? The anime girl. Oh, Penny Parker. Penny Parker. Yeah. Penny Parker from the year 3000 or something. Yeah. Uh, but I like how she doesn't have the powers. Instead, she has a robot suit that is being powered by a spider. Yeah. Like. Okay, cool. It's like, that's a cool way to do it. Uh Uh-huh. And it's like, I was wondering if, like, the weird super anime influences on that character and, like, the cartoon, the super cartoony influences on Peter Porker would, like, get obnoxious. And no... Other than like their, like her introduction where she's like Kaidasu and stuff, and like whoa, okay, that's a bit much. But then other than that, I really enjoyed her. Right. Uh, and then I actually really enjoyed uh, the pig as well. Yeah, yeah, and he has like cartoon sound effects too. and like uses things like literal anvils and wooden mallets. Uh huh. It's like I know this line is in the trailer, but it's a really good line. It's like do. Uh, anthropomorphic animals talk in this universe because I don't want to freak them out. I don't want to freak them out. <laughs> it's like, that's just a really good line. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nor Spider-Man. Uh-huh. He, he has to be voiced by the guy. The guy? Mmm. National Treasure. Nicholas Cage? Isn't it Nicholas Cage? Oh. It's either Nicholas Ca- it's either Nick Cage himself or someone pretending to be Nick Cage. I don't know, but there were both Peter Porker and him. Mm-hmm. Nor Spider-Man. I'm like, I recognize these voices. I have to double check. But I, I, I double cannot check. place them. But I'm pretty sure that was Nick Cage playing <laughs> the super the noir. the noir dramatic guy. And it's like, this is I love this. This I is love perfect. It. They're so good. All right. I want to talk more about the villains. Okay. I love the villains in this. Yeah? The Green Goblin is a literal giant monster. Mm-hmm. With Very re- different take from what I've ever seen. Of oh, Green yeah. Goblin. Usually he's just a dude in a suit, like, on a glider and stuff. No, yeah. this guy has bat wings and is, like, a giant monster and has a tail. And he still has, like, pumpkin bombs and stuff, but it's just like, this is completely different. Yeah. He's so cool. I'm wondering if there is a a universe, like a Spider-Man universe, where that's the Green Goblin. Well, I bet he's in Miles' universe. Yeah. I bet, I, I mean, I may be wrong, mm-hmm. but in Miles' universe, th- I, again, I haven't read any comics, but I feel uh-huh. like a lot of the villains are these villains, like, uh, the fact that Doc Ock is a woman. Oh, Doc Ock was so cool. And the fact that she's like, using, like, rubber hose yeah. arms. Well, and I love that you can hear, like, the, the popping of them, like... Contracting and expanding and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's so good. And they've got, like, the, the suction cups. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so neat. It's like, she's so cool. Well, and you even saw in one of the times where they were doing, like, the, um... Like, let's do this again, Mm -hmm. where they would take you through... It was Gwen. We saw, like, regular mechanical Yeah, she was battling a Doc Ock. We only see, like, a regular mechanical claw Claw. coming at her when she gets sucked into the parallel universe. But it's like, Uh that's so cool that, like, they all have their villains. Uh, Scorpion was super different. I don't really know a lot about Scorpion, but I know mm-hmm. he's usually 
shown as just kind of like a guy in a suit with like a mechanical tail or something. Uh huh. Maybe not mechanical, but like tail that he hits people with. But this guy had like a scorpion claw arm and like it was a whole thing and he was not white. Mm hmm. I missed what language he was speaking when he walked in, but he's like, what's all this then? Oh, yeah. And it's like, he spoke in a different language, and that was sweet. <laughs> he was really cool. There's other, like, this Frankenstein-looking henchman. I have no idea who he was. I have no he idea was. who he was, yeah. He might have just been a henchman guy, and I can't remember what his uncle's villain name was. They oh, said it gosh. once. Yeah. Only once, and that's really a shame, because I... I really liked his design. When he first showed up, I was like, who's this Spawn Deadpool evil Spider-Man looking creep mm -hmm. who's all purple and awesome and has amazing theme music? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so good. I really like the soundtrack. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's so good. I dig it. It's like a mix of, like, super awesome techno stuff with, like, rap and... I, I don't hip hop or yeah hip hop and stuff. It's like I don't know all the terms for like I don't know music, music well terms, enough. But it's like it feels like Brooklyn. Well, and it feels like Miles. Yeah, like it. It just feels like this is the because, correct music because they introduce him listening to listening that to kind of music, music. Mm -hmm. and so all the music just kind of feels like this is music he'd be listening. This to. is yeah exactly. It works so well. And the fact that, like, this movie is all about the massive amount of expectations set down on Miles. Mm-hmm. Like, Great expectations is a theme mm -hmm. throughout this. And they they use it a lot. But it's like, it's great because it, it, it sets up, you know, like, the whole film. Miles does, like, this whole art piece about it, too. Mm-hmm. It's so yeah. good. I love this movie. Mm. Kingpin's reason for making the opening the multiverse is kind of like, okay. He blames Spider-Man for his own evil. Well, yeah. But but that's what I was talking about earlier, how I feel like that's a great parallel. Mhm. Mm because it's you know, of course, with Peter Parker, it's the whole, with great power comes great responsibility. Mm -hmm. And so just seeing a villain who has great power but doesn't want to take the responsibility for it... Oh, yeah. Is, ...is a great establishing point for Miles to start. There, yeah. Okay, I'm down for it. Yeah. And, and this he whole He just blames movie, everyone else for his own wrongdoings. Yeah. Yeah, and... Makes the same mistake again. Yeah. Like, at the end of the movie, he's holding on to a new Spider-Man, setting up a whole new problem. And, and he's all of the multi all the multiverse versions of his wife and... His and dead wife and son are just like, no, yeah. we're leaving. We're getting away. Yeah. And it's like, even then, Kingpin is blaming Spider-Man for that. And on the at the same time... Miles' father, who hates Spider-Man, is watching and is saying, Spider-Man, get up. Mm hmm Like, those two things happening at the same time is great. I love it. Because it's Kingpin making the same mistakes, and it's Miles, like, getting the affirmation from his father that he wants. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, uh, <laughs> it's it's amazing. Mm -hmm. The art direction. Wait, 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 wait. Hold okay. on, hold on. Don't, because still like, want to talk more about plot and characters? I, I still want to talk about that moment mm -hmm. because it's just like, you know, both of these characters, villain and hero, are working to save their families. Yeah. And both of them are doing it in ways that would make their families upset. Yep. But, but... Yes. You, but see, see, this is why it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, movie makers. Uh-huh. <sighs> this movie made me emotional, like, multiple times. In a good way. Yeah. Like, I got emotional at the start. 
when we walked into the movie and like the art styles going and it just I'm so happy and then like the story beats all hit me emotionally and oh. it's so good and by the time you got to the third act I'm just like yeah. beat him up do it do the things also, I obviously, again, haven't read the comic books, but I didn't know that Miles had those powers. Mm -hmm. The powers of, like, shock abilities and also uh, invisibility. Yeah. Well, it was one of those things I'd forgotten. And then I was like, oh, yeah, he does have different powers. I don't remember what they are, but I remember talking to someone who really liked Miles and they were talking about that. I'm like, oh yeah. It's like, those are really cool abilities. And plus that on top of that, he still has like the super strength and mm -hmm. walking on walls and spidey Spider sense. sense. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. I really like it. I love the blur effect, like the comic book blur effect mm -hmm. on anything that's not in focus. It happens all the time, whether it's in the foreground, the background. Things are just out of focus, so you know exactly what you're supposed to be looking at. Everything is dulled down, mm -hmm. so you know exactly what you're supposed to be looking at. The color direction leads your eye right to where it's supposed to go. There is not a shot in this movie that feels messy. No. Unless it's specifically trying to get that across, like when the universes are messing up. Right. Yeah, this... Like, everything's on screen. The staging is, like, near flawless. I and love... And there's mm -hmm. not just flawless, but, like, bold. Yeah. I love the conversation with Hobo Spider-Man. Hobo Spider-Man? As he's just getting, like, waking up in this new universe and walking away from Miles out of his window... And like down the wall. Oh, and the whole yeah. camera's just turned so that it looks like he's just walking away, but he's walking down a building and then he starts walking up the next one. And like mm -hmm. the framing always has it look like they're like walking in weird directions. And it's it's so good. Mm -hmm. They don't just frame it like you would have to with like a normal camera or anything. Because you don't have to, because it's animation. It's animation. Whoa. You can do whatever you want with it. <sighs> Live action wishes it could be animation. Mm-hmm. That's why they keep putting animation in their live action movies. Uh-huh. Ha! <laughs> Dumb live action. <laughs> <laughs> Can't step to this. I mean, glad you existed so we could get to this point, but step off. <laughs> step off, son. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it. This movie gets an A plus 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 plus. I'm pretty sure that's the text you sent to Owen. Oh yeah, I sent this to Owen who was hoping to see this movie with us, but we like to see the movies immediately, so he's like, ah, that's fine. We can't get off work on a yeah. Thursday. We'll just go see it together on Sunday. Sunday. Which we're is like, why we're seeing it again. Yeah, we're gonna go see it again. Um and I just sent Spider-Man equals A plus 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 plus, 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 plus. And he's like, good. <laughs> period. <sighs> because I'm not an evil person who would sp send spoilers to my best friend. That's a terrible thing to do. Yeah. Oh. So, everyone, go see Spider-Man. Seriously. Then go see it again. Yeah. Then force your family members to go see it. Yeah, I'm going to, like, tell all of my family to go see this movie. Mm -hmm. They don't have good tastes in movies, but it's like, go see this movie. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell my coworkers to go see this movie. I'm going to tell everyone I see on the street to go see this movie. <laughs> have you seen Spider-Man? Have you heard about our Lord and, Lord and Savior Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. But I think that's all from us. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. We could gush about this movie for hours more, but we don't want this review to be longer than it is, which I, I don't know how long it is. It's probably been like... I don't know. A good long time. <laughs> a good a good amount of time. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I hope you all are having a fantastic day, wherever you are in whatever time zone you're in. And, uh, and have a great weekend and have happy holidays. Yeah, I guess... Uh, 
Because we'll probably have the year-end review out sometime between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, probably. Somewhere in there. Yeah. So, yeah, it'll give us time to more... Think about things. Think about this reflect. movie. Still put Spider-Man in our number one. <laughs> think about this movie more. Kind of remember that other movies exist. And then think about this movie more. Think about how other movies, like, didn't even try in yeah. comparison. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, good night. Yeah, good night.